was. She was just speaking her mind. Right. She'd say, if you can't be sweet, be discreet. <laughs> I love it. She's, oh, hilarious. It's so <laughs> funny. Uh, this is K47420, and this is Tina Varelli. Tina's here with a brand new KitchenAid hand mixer. That's right. With all the attachments, including the dough hooks, Miss, Miss Tina, and seven speeds and a digital readout. That's right. So digital. So that means you're going to have just with the press of a button, it's going to increase to those seven distinct speeds and all that power. Here I am on speed one and I am pulling amazing, by the way. pork, pulling pork that I braised in root beer. I thought I smelled something unusual. Mm -hmm. That smells amazing. So you braise it in root beer, drain out that liquid once it's all nice and tender. I took out the bones earlier. And then if you want to drizzle in some barbecue sauce, yes. we're going to have some pulled pork sandwiches and we didn't have to pull it by hand. You want to get that great big piece right there? Oh, yep. Before I start get it. with you. Get it, get it. All right, perfect. There we go. Now drizzle in some sauce. So this is just a super easy recipe. And then go for it, my dear. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And see, that not only shreds the pork, but it also mixes in the barbecue sauce. It does. Oh, what a clever idea. Right in your slow cooker. So you're only dirtying one dish and it's all like right to the bowl. That's the beauty of a hand mixer is you can take it right to the job. Now, Miss Tina, you're giving us the regular work blades or beaters that you're using now. That's right. That makes some more sauce. A little bit more. A little bit more. All right, so we've got the regular beaters, we've got the wire whip, and the dough hooks. Yes, we have not seen the dough hooks in a while. So right here's what you're getting in your pack up. You're getting all of these attachments, and down below are your color choices. This is four payments of $15, and it's brand spanking new. Here is the black. This is the color I have in my kitchen. Next to that is the tangerine. Then we have majestic yellow. Then green apple. Don't forget, and here's a color we haven't seen in a while. This is blue willow. Blue willow, such a pretty, pretty blue. And beside the blue willow is ice blue. And then I've got red on the next ledge. In the middle is gloss cinnamon. And finally, we have it for you in contour silver, which is most popular. Tangerine is the most limited. Everybody is excited about this terrific hand mixer. And I'll tell you, having a KitchenAid hand mixer is really remarkable because it allows you to take the mixer right to the job. It does. Just like I was in the slow cooker, here I'm whipping cream. So I'm using that stainless steel wire whisk. And let me just take you on a tour as it's doing the work there for me. So do you see this black part under the handle there? That's a soft grip. So it's really easy to hold on to. This has a DC motor inside so that it's lightweight, it's powerful, it's quiet, and it's easy to use and it's built to last. So seven distinct speeds up here on the top is where you control everything. So with a flick of your thumb, you're turning it on and off, on and off. And then down here, there's an up arrow and a down arrow. This little um, shiny metal piece, that's just so your thumb can feel whether you're gonna turn it up or whether you turn it down without even looking. So, and with that DC motor that's controlled by that electronic sensor, you're gonna have a soft start. So when you first turn it on, it's gonna start slowly. So you're not gonna get a puff of flour or whipped cream going everywhere. And it's also going to give you a little burst of power like a cruise control when you add denser ingredients. So you can already see all those bubbles that are forming. What we're doing is we're aerating that whipped cream. So we're gonna get homemade fluffy whipped cream in an instant. And a little tip here for you, if you add a little instant vanilla pudding mix, that's gonna help stabilize your whipped cream so it's gonna last longer for your oh, strawberry shortcakes. I like that, and it'll stand, it'll be a little stiffer, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look down at colors again, and I'm gonna begin with, now 200 are gone. Here is the most popular color, and that of course is contour silver. Don't miss out on this contour silver, that's beautiful, beautiful. Beside that is gloss cinnamon. Traditionally a very popular color on QVC from KitchenAid. Then we have red. Move over to the next ledge. You're going to begin with that lighter blue. We call it ice blue. Then blue willow. Then green apple. Fewer than 300 in the green apple. And then we have majestic yellow. And if you want the tangerine, 175 to go around. Finally, I have it for you in the black. This is four easy payments of $15. We should know also that KitchenAid 
is now the number one selling mixer brand in the world. Yes, how about that? Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> now, of course, this is from the Euro Monitor International Limited Consumer Appliances 2018 Edition Retail Volume Sales for 2012 through 2017. That's how they won that designation. That's and so it great. It is extraordinary. 300 of these are now gone, Miss Tina. And I love that you are able to basically fold in those strawberries without pulverizing them using that wire flexible whip. Now the blueberries and the strawberries get folded into that mixture. They don't get pulverized. That's right, because we have that ultimate control right in your hand with that DC motor. That's an upgraded motor. You're not going to find that in your supermarket brands. So let me show you how to eject that whisk. So up here there's a nice big button. You just press that with a thumb and out it comes. In here, this is where you're going to insert your other beaters. So there's a larger hole and there's a smaller hole. There is even a picture there to show you. So you want to use the beaters. Notice one beater has a little collar on it. So you want to put the one with the collar into the larger hole. Now the reason we do this is so that the tines of the beater are not fighting against each other. They're going to work perfectly in tandem going right to the bowl. So here I have my lock and lock container and I'm going to make a cheesecake salad that's what? really great to take to all those picnics and everything we're going to be having soon. Is it like a dessert salad? It is like a dessert salad or not if you just feel like you want a sweet salad. So I'm adding some powdered sugar. Notice how that powdered sugar is not flying all over the place. When I turn it off and turn it on, it has that soft start. So it's going to start off at a lower speed and it's gently going to ramp it up, giving you that great KitchenAid quality and control. A little vanilla, a little salt, and then we're going to fold in that whipped cream with the berries, add some marshmallows, and we're going to be good to go. Hey, I do want to let you know 500 of these are gone now, Miss Tina, and a quick color tour. Yes. We have the black, tangerine, majestic yellow, green apple, blue willow, ice blue, red, gloss cinnamon, and the number one, Miss Tina. Yes. Contour silver. So pretty. All right. So, Tina is assembling her sweet salad. We're going to say, check in with sweet Stacy. And then Jimmy Stovall and I, who are not sweet at all, are going to bring you the next item. Yeah, Which I there you go. Super jealous of We're and totally plan on crashing the party. Uh, so, of course, David 